The nail gun in Cold War is the only secondary other than the launchers that actually feels like it should be a secondary weapon. And what I mean by that is whether you're playing core or hardcore, you can use any pistol, melee weapon, special other than the nail gun, of course, or primary weapon as your main weapon of choice. If you want to run around with the Diamatis, you can run around with the Diamatis and be successful in all game modes. But with the nail gun, it really just feels like it's meant to be a secondary and only a secondary that you use as backup. Because there have been so many times where I've been getting the nail gun gold in DM Ultra, where I've been playing core or hardcore, and the gun just feels not good whatsoever. And it has its moments in both core and hardcore where you're sitting there using it like wow this gun's actually pretty decent i might have just been really bad but then it just does not do well against bullet weapons because it just doesn't have that bullet velocity or i guess nail velocity that everything else has an advantage of and even if you're using the crossbow the crossbow does fly farther and you pretty much use it like you have always used a crossbow in call of duty the thing with the nail gun is you're going to be running it like an smg but what makes smgs really good at close range is the bullets will hit the enemy extremely fast but even at close range with the nail gun there is still going to be a slight delay from when you shoot till the nail hits the enemy. And of course, later in the video, I'll share my tips and tricks for DM Ultra 2, but I just want to voice my opinions on this gun and I am never going to use it again, even if they buff it. I just, I've done my DM Ultra, I'm working on Dark Aether currently, and then once I'm done those mastery camos, I just won't be using the weapon again because there's so many secondaries that I would rather use over the nail gun. And of course, the nail gun is fun to use to switch it up every so often, but it is is in desperate need of attachments and of course you can't add attachments like optic barrels or stocks because there's no actual area on a nail gun for there to be attachments added but the attachments that you could add are grips that you would add to the handle that you can add to any other weapon in the game that would increase your ads time or increase your hip fire accuracy stuff like that would be extremely useful for a weapon like this just to give it that extra little push and you could also add fast mags or dual mags you guys know the dual mags from call of duty black ops one you could easily just take two nail magazines tape them together at the bottom and then you have like a dual mag or a fast mag i don't think extended mags would make much sense because realistically it's a nail gun you're not going to have bigger mags for a nail gun i don't think there are extended mags for a nail gun in real life whenever they're using it for roofing or whatever you use a nail gun for in construction but you could add simple things like handle grips and magazine differentiation attachments that can increase your reload speed or sometimes make you ADS faster. And the thing that I hate about the nail gun is the ammo count. You have to be running scavenger if you are running this gun as your main weapon of choice in Cold War, especially if you're trying to get gold or DM Ultra on it. You'll run out of ammo so fast and it shoots like an SMG, or I guess it shoots like a slower SMG, so you're gonna be wasting ammo extremely fast, and there's no attachments for you to increase your starting ammo capacity, and you only get, what, 15 shots per clip, and you only spawn in with two or three, and it usually takes, depending on your range, a full clip to half a clip to kill an enemy, so it can take anywhere from three to six kills, and then you're out of ammo completely, and then you have to be either using ammo boxes, or you have to be using scavenger. So if you're grinding this weapon, use scavenger, it will save you a incredibly frustrating hassle with this weapon as well other than that it's a fun weapon to use if it had an increased ammo count maybe a couple random attachment selections that could increase ads speed or reload time this thing wouldn't be that bad and i, and I understand it's a secondary weapon and it's not meant to be used as an smg or primary equivalent but when you look at older call of duties like black ops 3 the black ops 3 nail gun i don't remember if you could use attachments but it was in the smg category and even in warzone it's in the smg category and i understand to some extent that in warzone it would would be pretty overpowered if it was categorized as a specialty weapon because you could have it as your secondary on any class and it uses smg bullets so you could have the nail gun as your secondary and whatever gun you wanted as your primary and still be able to run ghost because you wouldn't need overkill i understand the balancing in warzone's aspect of it i just wish it got a little bit of a benefit within cold war because honestly i would much rather use the crossbow 
than the nail gun. That's just how it is for me. In terms of DM Ultra, this thing's really easy to unlock. The hardest challenges you will have and they're not even difficult challenges, is bloodthirsties, point blanks, and kills while sliding. If you're sliding consistently in the game and you get used to sliding every time you turn a corner to kill enemies, you'll get sliding kills extremely easily. And of course, for all your basic camo challenges like eliminations, headshots, double kills, those will all be done just throughout regular gun progression as you're using the gun in general. But if you are struggling with headshots, go to hardcore i know this might not be a weapon that a lot of people would like to use in hardcore because it does shine in core over hardcore but it's one shot headshots at any range any distance as long as you hit them in the head headshots you only need 50 of them and then you can just move on to your other camo challenges the point blanks and sliding kills do coexist together because nine times out of 10, if you are sliding and trying to get point blanks at the same time, whether you're sliding into enemies as you go through a corridor or enter a building, you can get tons of sliding and point blank kills at the exact same time. Of course, there are situations where you will be sliding and killing enemies outside of that point blank range and vice versa as you will get point blank kills without sliding. But as long as you're consistently focusing on these two challenges, you'll complete them really fast. I think the sliding kills only took me three games and the point blanks only took me four. And of course, as you're working on both of these camo challenges, you'll be completing the super basic camo challenges as well as bloodthirsties. Bloodthirsties is something that you might struggle with with this gun, especially in hardcore and even core on some maps because of the ammo. As I said, depending on how you're using your ammo, you run out of it extremely fast and there's nothing you can use to benefit you other than scavenger or assault packs. So sometimes you'll get stuck two or three kills off of a bloodthirsty and you'll already be out of ammo. So now you're stuck with your pants down using your primary weapon and the kills aren't going towards your bloodthirsty anymore because you're out of ammo. So you have to be really smart and you have to be at the right place at the right time to be able to get five kills after you kill enemies, pick up their scavenger packs or have your assault pack to your use or have ammo resupplies nearby and use those to your advantage because bloodthirsties was one thing that I struggled with. In the last game, I unlocked gold. I finished the bloodthirsties, point blanks and sliding kills all in a single game. But if it wasn't for the sliding kills and point blanks taking a little bit of extra time just because I didn't focus on them as much as I should have, the bloodthirsties would have been the last challenge I would have unlocked. And so if you can get your bloodthirsties out of the way, you just have to focus on your sliding and point blank kills. And the best part about working on your bloodthirsties and just focusing on getting five kills without dying 20 times, you will be completing by chance the sliding kills and just by default the point blank kills when you're fighting enemies at point blank range. The camos themselves aren't that difficult, but this is one of those cases where the weapon itself is gonna give you the most troubles rather than the camo challenges. So if you can stomach the nail gun and you get into a groove of using it and tracking the projectiles and being able to lead your shots properly to get kills, whether that's in core or hardcore, it will only take you a couple hours to finish DM Ultra. I think it only took me an hour and a half. And because this weekend is double weapon and double XP, I think I got to max level or max weapon level within only a couple games. So that really helps with the camo challenges. Of course, double weapon XP tokens at your disposal as well from the battle pass anyway that's the nail gun i'm happy i never have to use it again let me know if you guys enjoy the gun or dislike the gun or are just impartial and it's just a gun that you're gonna get dm ultra and then never use again but i'm not using it ever again just because i i don't want to i just don't like the gun anyway leave a like if you guys did enjoy dislike if you didn't know hard feelings subscribe for more videos in the future and if there is one i will see you in the next one peace